is Philippe and welcome to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be opening the Strix Avon Silver Quill Pre-Release Kit and this is a gift from Wizards of the Coast. I'm actually sponsored to do the pre-release event. If you want to know more information of how you can play the pre-release event, you can go to the video that I'm going to link down below where I explain everything. Uh, thank you so much for Wizards and Channel Fireball for inviting me for this event and sponsoring me. I really appreciate that. So I chose the College Silver Quill because that is my favorite one and I'm going to be opening this pack and also creating the deck that I'm going to play on the pre-release. So I'm not like exactly an expert on building pre-release kits. I'm just going to pre-release decks, but I'm just going to do my best and I'm actually trying to do something fun because pre-release for me is not about the skill, but more about the fun. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So what do you need to play the pre-release event? Well, you need a pre-release kit that you can buy everywhere that you want. Uh, you need lens, so I have some lens here. And you need sleeves. I recommend the Katana sleeves. I'm sponsored by Ultimate Guard and these are my absolutely favorite sleeves ever. They are very good and also Ultimate Guard now has a shop online for, for Europe. So if you're in Europe, I'm going to leave the link down below and you can check the store online. And yeah, that's it. Let me open the packs with you. Hopefully we'll open something very good and build our deck together. Let me know if you like this video. Subscribe. I'm almost at a thousand subs and a thousand subs is what I need to get a partner on YouTube. So thumbs up this video so more people can watch it. And I really hope you like it. Okay, so let's see if the quality of this video is a bit of, a little bit better than my last unboxing one. Uh, but yeah, let's see how that works. Uh, so I have my Strix Avon School of Mages Silver Quill, the best college uh, kit. And also I have my Katana sleeves. Once again, thank you so much uh, to Channel Fireball and Wizards of the Coast for allowing me to be part of this amazing event, which is the pre-release online, the official one. And yeah, let's see if we get good cards to play on it. Let's see, like, once again, I'm kind of new to, like, opening stuff. I'm trying, like, a very homemade solution. And let's see if it works out. Okay, so inside should be five normal uh, boosters and draft boosters and one um, college booster, which is the silver quill one and one promo card. So, okay. Okay, we have the instruction book. Basically, this one is silver quill. Okay, it basically did choose how to play the, um, how to build a pre-release deck. So if it's your first time, this is actually a very useful tool and everything. So we have that. Then we have a dice. Okay. Okay, let's try to roll. I know that uh, Joey Moss Bad Boy Gaming does this. So let's see if I roll a seven. Oh, I didn't even get it on camera, but it was an eight. It was so close though, damn. Okay, so uh, let's see if we have everything. So this is the um, silver quill booster, box, booster booster kind of. It has like, basically it has uh, silver quill relate, related cards and it's uh, it depends on the kit that you open. So since I've opened a silver quill kit, I get silver quill tempt cards. So it can be um, Orzhov multicolored, it can be white or black cards. Then we have five draft booster box. Not booster box, boosters, damn it. Why am I saying booster box? Okay. And then we have a promo card. So our promo card is Mavinda Students Avocat. Okay, so I hope I really hope now you can see better the cards when I open them, but here you can take a closer look. It's basically it's a two three flying and you for zero you may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. If that spell doesn't target a creature you control, it costs eight more to cast this way. If that spell be put into the graveyard, you exile it instead, and you can only activate it one time each turn. Okay. And there's also a pre-list code here, I believe. Yeah, there's also a pre-list code. I'm actually going to give this to a friend that needs it, but here it is. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put mythic rares and rares in one side. I'm going to put um, and then I'm going to divide by color basically. So this is the pile of uh, of rares and of mythics. Okay, let's open our special pack now. Okay. 
a silver quilt pledge made. I really hope you guys can see this because last time you couldn't even see the cards. So I'm trying to make an effort for you guys to at least try to see it a little bit better. Okay. Ooh, oh, it's always nice to have um, the lens. Okay, so I'm going to put lens in another side, multicolored. Okay. Ooh, that's the lesson. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Multicolored. Okay, black. Let me just over these here. White. So these don't have. Ooh, the Bible plus. Okay. Not colored. White. And basically I'm doing this to try to get an idea of like which colors I got most of the cards, you know. Clearly here we have a big help towards um, our guild. Oh, we got a rare. Okay, I didn't even realize it was the rare. Okay, let me show you. We got the silver quill command. It's actually very nice. We got two beasts. Two pests and okay, let me put tokens aside. Okay, so right now it's looking like this. Uh, so this is a rare, let me put towards here and let's crack the first booster pack. So these booster packs are very exciting because they have the mystical archive things. And yeah, those are pretty nice. Maybe I put here, you guys can see it better. Oh, I'm forgetting to put everything in colors. Okay, so multicolored, multicolored, multicolored. There's a lot of multicolored cards. Land, okay, study break goes here, blue, red, I haven't had red yet. Want to do this too long, but Mage Duel, okay, Essence Fusion, Environmental Science, so that's uh, colorless. There's a lot of uh, colorless in this set because of the lessons. That's tough. Okay, so we are in the in commons, 45. Okay, we don't have a space for, well, we do have it here. Okay. Ooh, a rare. Battleful Mastery, okay. That's very nice, actually, in our uh, Silver Cool Colors. Ooh, an Eliminate, okay. I'm going to put the special cards here, the um, Mystical Archive ones, but Eliminate is very nice because it's a card I can really play in my privileges, and I probably will. I mean, removal is always nice in privilege events. Okay, so. Hopefully I get I get better doing this over the time, honestly. But let's see. Ooh, this is actually a nice little card. Fans, nice. Oh, and I forgot. See, I'm forgetting already things. The red goes here, okay. And the white goes here. Frost Trickster. So this set is actually very interesting and it has like very cool limited um things to do familiar right ooh that's actually very nice you know look at that okay so that's a land but it's rare let's put here on the rares ooh infuriate okay that actually very the, the cards of the mystical archival that they feel nice okay and we have a foil defend the campus okay so two boosters down, so far, so good. Let's go to the third one. I think I'm going to build something around um, Orzov for sure. Prismari Campus, okay. I mean, that is not the campus that I want to be in, but sure, okay. I want to be in Silver Quill. Okay. The Fox. Come on, I, I want the... I want the black cards, that's right. Oh, I'm already, see? I'm a mess. Already putting everywhere, not where it belongs. Let me just fix that. Okay. Okay. 
a lesson. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay. This is actually a dual card. Look at that. We got a great card, Mila and Luca. Ooh, and this cultivate is so pretty. Look at this. Okay, I, I wish I got a like uh, mystical archive um, rare like um, foil. Those ones probably look damn cute. Okay, so teach by example, thrilling discovery, spectacle mage, rescuer, bury, blood axe. Leyline Invocation. So this is a six mana card, the raid. Okay. We always love to get these cards in our colors. The rare already. What? I still have so many cards to go. How is this the rare? What? Oh, because it's the lesson spot. Okay, the lesson spot can be any rarity. Okay, we got an extra rare. That's nice. I didn't even know about that. It was like rare already, that's weird. Okay, let me just put my computer to charge after this pack for a sec. Ooh, a land. Okay, so. A land. Natural order, ooh, that's a nice one, a mythic one, that's nice. Okay, so let's go to our last DC. And I really want to do a silver quill, so maybe I'll splash something. Okay, letter of a substance. Okay, love to see it. Now, this is the one, the last time I said it was cool, this was the one I mean. This card is very nice. It actually might be playable in sack bags, I think. Okay, like it. Bury in the books. This is a nice one. Okay. Flunk. That's a fun name. Okay, we got a land. Where are my lands at? Humiliate. Okay. Ooh, Duras and Battlefield Mastery. Okay. So the second one that we got. So now what I usually do is I just see like what colors have the most uh, promising. I usually do 17 lands and 23 spells. I, I like to have a good amount of creatures, but I like to go with the rares first. So this is nice because it allows us to splash for red. And it might actually be needed because we have the Mila and Luna and, and, and Luca, and that seems like a good thing to do. Okay, we have a lesson card. Once again, if we're gonna splash blue, you may pay two rather than oh, we have we have actually two of those. Okay, let me. Two of this. You may pay two rather than paying the spell mana cost if Exalt target. Okay, that's nice. We have the silver cool command and we got this flying. I mean, it already plays because it's a three mana to three flyer. Usually that's good. Okay, so letters can be important. I'm going to look for those after. And here, Dura. I don't think Duress is a good card to play in a pre release. At least I don't really like it. Natural Order is very good. Cultivate is good, infuriate is good. So eliminate I'm going to be playing for sure. And yeah. So let me see my multicolors. Now I like to see my multicolors to see like what color combination. Okay, so we have a nice like one here. I don't think we are going to play this. It's too heavy. So I'm going to already be removing the cards I don't think we are going to play of like other guilds and stuff. This we might play. This we might play. So everything that is like very difficult to splash, I'm already taking off because I'm not going to do. So. This is okay. This is okay. 
This is not, this I'm not going to. I'm going to think about that one actually. Okay. 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 So this is like the commons that I might play with. And uh, basically now what I do is just build the cards that I really like. So yeah, I might need to speed that forward, honestly. And maybe I'll just, I don't know. I don't even know how to speed things on editor, but I don't know. I'll just like, I don't know. Maybe I'll just cut this part and then just appear everything done. But let me see what we have here. Okay, so flunk. Target creature get minus X minus X until the end of the turn, where X is seven minus the number of cards in that creature controller's end. Okay, target creature gets minus X minus X. Seven minus. Okay, so for example, if your opponent has three cards in their end, these a creature gets minus four minus four, right? Minus the number of cards in that creature. Control. Okay. This is actually a nice removal, I think. Target creature. Put two plus one plus ones on target creature. It gains life link. I don't like this because I think this is more of a Wither Bloom thing with the life link. I don't like it because it's sorcery speed, so I think I'm going to put that one aside. Each player loses two life. You draw two cards. Four mana draws two cards. It might be considerate, let's see. Destroy target creature or planeswalker whenever a creature blocks this turn, its controller loses one life. Okay. I mean, it's destroy target creature, I always keep those. This is a lesson, actually. As an additional cost to cast this spell, exile a creature, you control. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Okay. This is thinkable. I think this goes to the lessons, though. Maybe on sideboard so we can get it with the lessons. Flying six mana, target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Four mana, two three flying. You can play six. Okay, this is interesting. I can I can definitely get there. That's what the one that we already said no. When I'm okay, one mana, one one flying. When this dies, you learn. I like this. We have nice lessons. Choose one target play, sacrifice a creature, all planeswalker, or create a 2 1 with flying. I like this. 2 mana, 2 1. Whenever these attacks, you may pay 2 life. If you do, it gains flying until the end of the turn. Okay. Once again, I don't want 2 of this, so. Let me just go to the rares here, though. Yeah, this always plays. The command always plays. You choose 2, target creature that plus 3, plus 3, and flying until the end of the turn. Return target creature with card. Two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield, or target player draws a card and loses one life, target opponent sacrifices the creature. Okay, I like this. I like this, this is removal. So this seems like almost like a controly deck. Okay, so I'm going to put the lens that I'm going to play with it aside. I like the Mila a lot. Choose one, choose a non-land card name, opponents can cast spells with the chosen name until the end of the turn. Uh, choose target on land permanent until the next turn it can't attack or block. Yeah, I'm going to put this in the lesson side. I mean, it might be a good sideboard card, kind of, but not main. And I don't think I'm going to play blue, so this goes away. So I can already put the blue cards aside because I'm not going to play them. Let me go for my... So we have Humiliate, I like that. Target opponent reveals their hand, you choose an online card from it, they discard it and you could put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature you control. Dead touch, when this enters the battlefield, put two plus one, plus one counters on it. So it's a two, two dead touch for four mana. When this dies, put those counters in another creature you control. Mm. Okay. Flying, when then this enters the battlefield, return. Yeah, I don't like this. I think I might only splash for the Luca thing, to be honest. But let's see if I find like, you gain two life, then you may discard two cards if you do draw three cards. Yeah, I don't think that's like the right spell for our deck. Target creature gets plus one, plus zero until the end of the turn. When that creature dies this turn, create a three, two red and white spirit creature. This is interesting. You don't need the red to pay for it. This is the put plus two, plus two counters. 
On target creature you control, other creatures you control get plus one plus one, so temporarily we give it here. So six mana it's a bit, but this exiles target creature, so I guess that's nice. And also you can learn, okay, exile target creature, exile up to one target instant or sorcery card from a graveyard and learn. Okay, this is maybe. Three mana, two to flying, whenever another creature you control with flying dice, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Okay, so this is like the plus one, plus one counter thing. Flying, a three, three mana, flying ward. Pay three life. Whenever this creature becomes a target of a spell ability, an opponent controls counter it unless the opponent pays three life. Oh, this is okay. Okay, this is a lesson, so lessons go outside. 3 mana, 3-1 three, Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an insert or sorcery spell, these gains your choice of flying or lifelink until the end of the turn. So, so far we have these going for us. I don't think we're going to do green, so I'm going to put it aside. And let's see if there's like any red card that sticks to me. I don't think so. Okay. Let's go for white. 2 mana, 2-2 two, two, Magecraft, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, this gets plus 1, plus 0, okay. Exile target, no land, per okay, this is a lesson. Target creature you control gets plus 2, plus 2, and x proof until the end of the turn. I actually like this, x proof is important. Flying, when this enters the battlefield, return target creature card with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard to your end. It's 5 mana, but it's a flying, we have a lot of fine flying synergies. You and target opponent each draw three life. I think this is a good commander card, but I'm not really wanna spend my mana to give my opponent's cards, so it's a no-go for me. One mana, zero, zero. This enters with a plus one, plus one counter in it. When this dies, put its counter. Okay, so it's the counter team thing. Uh, choose one, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of the turn, and you can destroy target creature with power four or greater, or you can. Okay, the destroying part is interesting. So may it's a maybe. Four mana is a lot though. One mana, one one. When these and when whenever one or more cards are put into exile during your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on these. Okay, one I put into exile during your turn. Okay, this only a, it's a maybe. I have to see what I have to to like trigger that. It's a two mana, one to flying. Four mana. You can exile a card from your from your graveyard. Target creature gains. Okay, let's think. Let's think. Tap up to three creatures. Learn. I like that. Target creature you control gets. Okay, it's the X proof card. Four mana, two, three flying. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gets plus one, plus zero, and vigilance. Okay, it's a okay creature. So from the missile archive, I think I want to play with eliminate. We have a lot of like nice. Um, you know, lessons, so that's always a plus. So now what I usually do is like, I see my mana, like what do I want to play in my mana? Act. Okay, I don't like this. We are playing two colors. We don't have too much fixing. I don't like the preliminary campus. Uh, when these enters battlefield tapped, sacrifice it and likes you pay. This I think it's okay. And of course the silver cool campus we want, so. And this we want because we are splashing the Luca, probably. So now that we like sorted out our colors and like what we are going to do. By the way, like maybe it's not correct for you to splash Luca, but like I really like it, so I'm going to do it. Worst case scenario, you can always play the Mila part. So now I put the lens to a side and then I start going spell creatures and then by converted mana cost. So. So here, one, two, see, like, I already see that I have way too many spells with three, like, with two mana. Okay, five, three, it's looking like a bit of a, like, expensive curve already, but let's see. This is a spell. Yeah. 
This is kind of a four, but at the same time, this is also a two. It depends. Okay. So now that that is kind of done, I can already see I have way too many cards. And we need to start cutting because let me count. So let's not count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 3. 23 is what we want. So how many do we have extra? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have to get 8 cards. That's how I like to see it. And I already see that I have way too many spells. Uh, this one, I'm not like a huge fan. I'm going to take it off. And now I can already see that I have way too many of two drops. I like this. This is removal. I like this. This is like a better duress, I would say. So I have two of this. I'm going to keep only one. And I'm going to ditch the other one. So seven cards to go. I like the tap because this gives me a lesson. I have very good lessons in my, um, in my sideboard. So, okay. So now let me go to the one drops here on the creatures. Um, I like this because it learns, so I, this is a premium. I don't want to have three, one drop, so I have to cut at least one. Uh, I like the counter one better than this one. This one is more, this is good, but it's more specific. Maybe if, if in the meantime I see that I have more synergy with it, I'll just keep it. Oh, and also eliminate, I have to keep here. Let me see the two mana creatures. Whenever this attacks, you may pay two. If you do two life, if you do it again, it's flying. It's okay. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, this, I like this because we do have a lot of instants and sorceries. Uh, I don't love these. We already have a lot of flying creatures, so I think I'm going to ditch that one. Okay, we always keep this one. It's very good. We always keep this one. This is too red, right? Yeah, okay. I keep this and I keep this. Okay, so no cuts to be due there. So four mana, two, three flying. This might be debatable. Okay, so maybe this one, it's a sorcery. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. Other creatures you control get plus one plus one in the end of the turn. If it was an instant, yes, but it's a sorcery, so I don't really want it. Uh, four mana, two, three, flying at the beginning of combat on your turn, and you control, that's plus one, plus zero, and vigilance until the end of the turn. I think that's okay-ish, it's not the best thing ever, but it's okay. I like this one with ward, fly, when this enters the battlefield, return to a creature, card from three or less to your graveyard to your end, I like that. And this is six mana, but it does get you a lesson, and you exile target creature or planeswalker, so that's good. Uh, I like this one, so let me see the four drops now. Yeah, maybe I don't love this one, I can cut it. I like this one, it destroy effect. I like this one, I like those ones a lot. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Maybe this is too expensive. It is an instant though, so it's a debatable. This is debatable. Okay, so let's see how far that gets us. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we have two cards to cut. Uh, and I think we can cut this one to defend the campus. And mm -mm. I think I can cut this puppy. I don't love it. Uh, it's okay, but it's not not nothing too special. We unfortunately don't have a lot of counter synergy. So right now, this is what I'm left with. And basically, that's the curve here. It is a bit expensive, but I like it. This is the spells. Okay, if we join the spells, you know, here, this is what it looks like. This is kind of a two as well, but yeah. Mm 
Okay. So, this is our curve. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but if you see that this is kind of a two as well, if we need it, I think it looks okay. And now what we need to do is get lens. And how do I do that? We need 17 lens. We already have this one, which is a fixer. We have a silver quill that gives us two. And we have this one to help us splash for Luca. So I'm going to open my lens here. So I'm going to play with one mountain because of Luca, but that's the only mountain I'm going to play. So that way I have three access to three red, these, these, and the, the special one. And if I cannot cast Luca, it's not the end of the world because I do have um, the Mila, so... And then, let me see, I, I count the sources that I have of each color, so in this case black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I do the same for white. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but this is how I usually do it in my prayer list. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it looks like I have more, a bit of more uh, black than white. So this is already a white. And yeah, so right now I have one white, two, I have two, I have three white sources and I have two black, right? So 17 minus four, it's uh, 13. So I'll do one more black then. Uh, so I'll do seven black and six white. So I'll do seven swamps, three, Four, five, six, seven. So seven swamps. And I'll do six planes. So one, two, three, four. five and six okay so the next step is just to sleeve everything once again i'm going to use my katana sleeves but i'll skip you to that part because i don't want you to spend here much more time it's been a long video already i hope you like it this is my thought process when i'm doing a deck of course like having all my material cameras and everything aside i cannot unfortunately think as really and like spend the time reading the cards as maybe I would do off. So maybe I'll change a couple of things or two, but this is my thought process. Um, so keep in mind that I went for fun and unlike the best deck, I wanted to do a uh, silver quill themed. I wanted to stay true to my college. And so that's why I did this, but you definitely don't need to, even if you like do a, sw a silver quill like deck. And um, if you buy a silver quill, pre-list pack and then you see that you have actually a good lore hold which means Boros deck you can just do that or you can splash another color so this is what I decided to do and I think it's fun uh, I, I really like that and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you do thumbs up once again thank you so much for Wizards and Channel Fireball for inviting me and thank you for Ultimate Guard to support my videos and my patreons and yeah i hope this deck is okay give me your opinion what what you what would you do differently do you like my deck you don't and thank you so much bye bye see you in the next one